In today's tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to knit this honeycomb stitch pattern made of crossed stitches and stocking at background. To work this stitch pattern, cast in multiples of 6 plus 2 stitches for the H stitches. The pattern repeated 6 stitches in a row and 12 rows, from row 3 to row 14. To begin knitting, I cast on 20 stitches. 2 stitches, the first one and the last one are the H stitches. The pattern takes 18 stitches. To begin knitting, I'm going to work two rows of stock in it. These first two rows are the preparation rows. So row 1, slip the first H stitch purlwise and knit H stitch till the last one. Now purl the last H stitch to complete the row. Turn and work row 2 wrong side. Slip the H stitch purlwise and purl H stitch across the row. And the last one. The second row is completed. Turn to continue. Begin row 3 right side. With this row we begin our pattern repeat. Slip the first H stitch. Then slip the next stitch purlwise with the yarn on the back of knitting. Then continue. Knit four, one, two, three, four. Now slip the next two stitches purlwise to the working needle and again knit four, one, two, three, Four. Repeat, slip two purlwise with the working yarn on the back and knit four. One, two, three, four. Then slip the next stitch purlwise and purl the last eight stitch on the end of the row. Row 3 is completed. Turn and begin row 4 wrong side. Slip the H stitch on the beginning. Then slip the next stitch purlwise with the working yarn in front. Bring the working yarn forward and slip 1. Continue purl 4 two, three, four, then slip the next two stitches with the yarn in front and purl the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Repeat, slip two with the yarn in front and purl the next four purls. One, two, three, four. Here on the end of the row, slip the next stitch with the yarn in front and purl the last H stitch to complete the row. Row four is made. On the next two rows, work stock in it. To begin row five, right side, slip the H stitch in the beginning, then knit all the stitches till the last one.
and purl the last H stitch to complete the row. Now turn to begin row 6, wrong side. Slip 1 and purl each stitch across the row. and purl the last stitch. Now turn and begin knitting row 7, right side. In this row I'm going to cross stitches. For this I'll be using a stitch marker or you can use a cable needle. So to begin slip the first H stitch, then slip the next stitch purlwise on a stitch marker like this, hold it down in front of your work and knit the next two stitches, one, two. Then bring a stitch from the marker back onto the main needle and knit into this stitch. Here working with three stitches, I front crossed a right stitch over the next two stitches to create a left slant. Now continue bring working yarn forward and slip the next two stitches to the stitch marker, but this time hold them down on the back of your knitting. Then knit the next stitch and again hold the working yarn in the front and now bring two stitches from the marker back onto the main needle and knit these two stitches. One and two. This time working with three stitches I back crossed two right stitches over the next stitch to create a right slant. Continue repeat the same. Slip the next stitch to the stitch marker Hold it down in front of your work, knit the next two stitches, one, two, then bring a stitch from the marker back onto the main needle and knit into this stitch. Now continue, bring the working yarn forward and slip the next two stitches to the stitch marker. Hold them down on the back of your work and knit the next stitch on the main needle. Again, hold the working yarn in the front and bring two stitches from the marker back onto the main needle and knit these two stitches. One, two. And repeat again. Slip a stitch Purlwise to a stitch marker, hold it in front of your work and knit two. One, two. Then bring this stitch back onto the main needle and knit this stitch. Then slip the next two stitches to the stitch marker with the yarn in front. Hold them down on the back of your knitting, knit one. Then with the working yarn in front, bring these two stitches from the stitch marker back onto the main needle and knit these two stitches. One, two. Purl the last stitch to complete the row. Row seven is made. Now turn to begin row eight. Slip the first H stitch purlwise, then purl H stitch across the row. and purl the last stitch. Now turn, 
work row nine, right side. Slip the first eight stitch, then knit two, one, two, then slip the next two stitches purl wise with the working yarn on the back. Continue, knit four, one, two, three, and four. And again, slip the next two stitches purlwise. Repeat, knit four, one, two, three, four, and slip the next two stitches with the yarn on the back. Then knit the next two stitches, one, two, and purl the last stitch to complete the row. Turn to begin knitting row 10, wrong side. Slip the first A stitch, then purl two, one, two, then Next two stitches, we need to slip to the working needle holding the working yarn in the front of knitting. Continue, purl four, one, two, three, and four. And again, slip the next two stitches purl wise with the yarn in front. Repeat, purl four, one, two, three, and four. And slip the next two stitches with the yarn in front. Then purl two, one, two, and purl the last stitch to complete the row. Row 10 is ready. Turn row 11 right side, slip the first eight stitch, and knit all the stitches till the last one. And now purl the last eight stitch to complete the row. Turn, work row 12, wrong side, slip one, and purl eight stitch till the end of the row. and purl the last H stitch. Now turn and begin knitting row 13 right side. In this row I'll be crossing stitches. Slip the H stitch, then holding working yarn in the front, bring the next two stitches to the stitch marker. and hold these two stitches on the back of the knitting. Then knit the next stitch on the main needle. Then knit those two stitches that are on the stitch marker. For this, first bring them back from the stitch marker to the main needle, having the working yarn in front, and knit two, one, and two. Then we need to create a left slant by Press in the next stitch over the next two. For this, slip the next stitch to the stitch marker and hold it down in front. Knit two. And then knit that stitch that is on the stitch marker. Here what we have. Now continue and repeat. Working yarn in front. Slip the next two stitches to the stitch marker and hold them on the back of the knitting. Knit 
knit the next stitch on the main needle then working yarn runs in front bring these two stitches from the stitch marker to the main needle and knit these two stitches one and two we've created a right slant continue to create the left slant cross the next one stitch over the next two for this slip the next stitch to the stitch marker and hold it down in front then knit two then bring this one stitch back onto the main needle and knit into this stitch and now repeat again slip the next two stitches to the stitch marker with the yarn in front hold them down on the back knit one then knit these two stitches from the stitch marker one two and continue slip the next stitch to the stitch marker and hold it down in front knit the next two stitches on the main needle one and two and then bring this stitch back onto the main needle and knit into this stitch purl the last stitch to complete the row row 13 is made now to continue turn and begin row 14 wrong side slip one on the beginning and purl each stitch across the row Row 14 is the last row of our pattern repeat. To continue with this pattern, you need to repeat the last 12 rows over and over until you've reached the desired length. The first two rows of stocking it I made are the preparation rows. I remind you that to work the stitch pattern, you need to cast on multiples of 6 plus 2 stitches for the 8 stitches. The pattern repeat is 12 rows from row 3 to row 14. This is the right side of my swatch. And this is its reverse side. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more free tutorials.